Task Force on Himmelsdorf. As we're going to go into game number five. Mahu currently up 4 nothing. Executus in a 50B with Pub Whisper and Tankarino. Simp also bringing three E100s, three, four IS4s actually, two IS7s, a 430 and a 907. 430 and 907 are going to be their eyeballs as Mahu bring out an extremely heavy lineup, three E100s, two, three, 215Bs. Four I's, fours, three I's, sevens, and a VK7201, a Clan Wars reward tank. So very much like an E100, little speedier, slower reload though. But but much much harder to to be effective with because it doesn't have the side armor that the E100 does. You can't really side scrape with it at all. Um, it takes damage so much easier than the E100 does. You know, uh, I'm a little bit suspicious of that pick. Um, so we have Simp on attack here, they've got so is that five tanks going up to the hill, that means they've got nine tanks down the bottom, three going towards the church, that leaves six going up towards Tank Alley there. Um, Mahu there on, on defense, they've put a, a very light um, sort of force there in the west, they're not anticipating too much pressure on the one. Ural's gone behind the, uh, you know, the Ural's old gone rubbish the rubbish pile here. Yep, the G-spot. It's in the G-line, that's now, the G-spot. From this position, he can spot what's coming down the 8-line. He's going to have eyes on these E-100s from here. We see shots coming out. HE shots specifically coming over towards him. Nothing connecting just yet. But you're on a position that can be easily pushed out or HE'd out. So he's just trying to survive, keep poking, getting some information. He's going to let his team know that they're coming through the courtyard. So Mahu should be reacting very shortly as he's given a little bit of trash talk in there saying, Hi guys, know what you guys are doing. Now, not much reaction coming out here, but the IS-4s will be having shots very shortly. He's going to absorb one shot into his space armor as you're all trying to survive here, still gathering information. Did he catch that these E-100s are coming down the 8-line? We'll have to check that out. As Mahu is set up for the 8-line, they have a ton of tanks over here. The three E-100s from Simp are backing up, knowing that they're outgunned. But Ural still down to 4 HP, surviving. Going to get taken out by Mac G though. They're going to clear up the eyeballs for Mahu. Now Mahu needs to figure out what they need to do because the E100s that were pushing down the 8 line have backed off successfully without taking any damage and now that they know most of the simp heavies are in the courtyard suppressing this the IS-4 of Enfy needs to be very careful there there's potential for him to get pushed if they do provide some pressure towards that C3 window now what do you think you know, what's the potential to move out of this position for Simp? You know, they have control of the courtyard. In your eyes, Alari, you know, where can they go from here? Well, Simp with the, with the control of the courtyard, they can, they dictate what happens in the game from now. You know, how the, they don't have anything aggressive in the playbook um, because Simp controls the, the courtyard. They're going to have to simply wait and see what Simp does and then react to it. If if Mao was to group up and, and push down the eight line really heavily, you know it'll cost them an incredible amount of health. That will simply trigger the the mediums that are on the hill to come down. We see the 50 bees from Simp coming down towards the courtyard. To me, that means they're going to make some sort of one play. Um, we're going to see Simp go up the three line to try and cut out um, Mao's avenues of, of reinforcements through the backyard. Um, and, and from there, I imagine we'll see some cat one pressure. They're just waiting for these 50 bees to arrive for now. Yep, as they do still hold that courtyard pressure, Mahu spread out pretty evenly to have eyes on whatever happens with a push. As Flak will be poking out trying to get some damage onto that E100 and IS7 215B holding down the 3 line. It looks like they're going to start trying to apply some 1 cap pressure, but that 215B being in the hangar is going to apply some, some pressure to keep them off the cap. As we see Dan picking up a uh, a penetration, he's going to go for another one, but it's going to bounce off that spaced armor. 
Simp kind of feeling this one out. They know they need to clear that number one line as the IS-4 of Enfy has been hit once. The 50 Bs need to push on him very quickly as there's three minutes, 30 seconds left. They need to set up a potential four cap on the number one as there's no way they'll be able to get to number two at this position. So Enfy so, right, holding it down. Line shenanigans from Simp there, where they're sitting in the five line, yes. um, just above the fountain there, that cuts off Mahal from being able to reinforce east to west. So Mahal's doing the really good reactionary play there of, we can't cross east to west, so we've got to group up and push down the eight line, so that we can secure the courtyard, so that we can get west and hopefully get the number one cap before it becomes way too late. Those five tanks on, from Mahal, which are defending the number one cap at the moment, are extremely isolated in the way that they are overmatched, um, they do have slightly advantageous positions, um, but it's all going to come down to who wins this courtyard brawl, which is starting on the 8 line right now. Now, I was taking a look at the IS-4 earlier, and he actually survived the triple 50B onslaught, bouncing a lot of shells, eating them with his tracks as well. But the Mahu push came over, we went to check this out, but now they're at Executive a stalemate here. Wally's going to get baited oh, around the corner, getting picked up by Tomio. As Simp now making another push, they want to clear up this 1-2-3 line because they know they need to put cap pressure on the number one cap. They need to take out the defenders as fast as possible. That eight line successfully defending themselves though. Simp up six guns and 5k HP. Simp needs to get in here and take out some of these Mahu players. As Dan going to be getting caught out in the hangar. He had the potential to get a lot of resets. Two minutes left. Simp needs to start thinking about some cap pressure. There's 9k HP left for Mahu. Mahu's going to be taking shots every which way here. The 50B is applying pressure. 1 minute 40 left. As we see now Simp going to be hanging out on, on the number 2 cap. So very good by them. That's going to lead 30 seconds until the game is capped out. Mahu players will not be able to respond to this. So Simp successfully playing on that 7-8 line. We've seen quite a few Mahu players getting baited around to where the E100s were able to pick up shots on those guys and take them out and save their friends. So Simp keeping a lot of guns in the game. Just playing fishing with the enemy. But Simp, two seconds left on cap. Going to be taking a game on Himmelsdorf. And they're going to try and bring back this series as now Mahu's lead lessens by one point. It's going to be 4-1 in their favor, though. Give you a quick well. peek at the battle report, but... Man, it just seemed like battles were everywhere.